My name is Maria Corol. I was born in Buenos Aires. I live in Atlanta and I make large scale drawings. In each of my drawings, I try to layer a lot of information and a lot of history. I was born in the middle of a dictatorship in Argentina in 1980, and I feel like the culture was uh, problematic in a lot of ways, a lot of sexism, a lot of uh, just um, militarized thought in the culture. And all of that, I think, is there in, in my psyche and, of course, in my work as well. I think a sense of performance and kinesis is part of the work that I do today. Then also an interest in anatomy, even though in my abstract works uh, it's less present, but it's still a sense of form and a sense of uh, paths of movement. I guess in the work that I make, I try to create a certain slowness for the viewer. So, you know, when I think about certain artworks, it's more like you see it, like at this stage when I have the figures, you see it and you get it. Uh, you you kind of have to let yourself get lost in the work to start to understand how it's working. And it's, yeah, it's a sense of complexity and it's a sense of time and it's a sense of sl slowness. For example, in this one, I'm thinking of the uh, femicides that are happening right now in Argentina. It's one of the most murderous places for, for young women uh, to, to exist in, uh, but it's not going to stay there, you know, because it's, that's not the only thing that defines the place. A connection between art and change in the real world, I think, is uh, definitely there. It exists, and I think artists are always uh, thinkers. When I think about my background now, I don't see it as just the city of Buenos Aires. I see it more as I'm Latin American, and I just love all of these different cultures. A lot of uh, artists that have influenced me uh, that come from Latin America are uh, from Brazil, in fact, like Ligia Pape and Ligia Clark and Elio Oisitica. So people that have these uh, very diverse practices where they're not just doing a drawing or uh, painting, but they're also doing performance and they're thinking about their societies and engaging with a lot of uh, different ways to say what they want to say. I came to the US when I was 24 and I've been living here also all over this country. So I feel like a sense of geography and mobility is something that defines me. I am in love with Atlanta. I have to be uh, very honest about this. I have nothing to critique yet. <laughs> uh, I don't know, I feel like since I moved to Atlanta, the artist community has been super embracing, super lovely, easy to talk to, uh, welcoming. And here in Atlanta is so diverse and it's unpretentious and it's uh, just people that are interested in making art and interested in talking to each other and um, I find it very lovely.